hurry up and do because I feel like this phone has a short in it. I'm going to go ahead and get me another damn phone. For this one cut off, I'm going to get me an iPhone. iPhone 8. I was going to get me an iPhone 10, but I heard they're discontinuing it because it has too many problems. That's what happens when you try to keep up with the competition, Apple. You need to stay true and remain true to how y'all do stuff. I, I had to put the air on, bitch. What's up, y'all? It's me, Erica. Welcome back. I really don't have anything to talk about. Um, only because I I wasn't really I was I was listening a lot to other people's um, videos today. You know, while I was at work. Oh, honey, I need to fix this mirror. While I was at work, I was listening to um, everybody's videos and stuff. But I was watching James Colwell's video. Bitch, when he said, called them um, ladies from, <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> when he called them ladies, them old, did he call them old whores? I don't know what he called them. He talked about them. Baby, I haven't finished watching his his reviews on the housewives be on, <coughs> be on point. Excuse me. So I'm going to probably watch that tonight. I have a review for y'all um, tomorrow evening. I have decided to do my videos. Normally, I record on the way to work, but I'm going to record um, leaving work only because um, the sun be in my face in the morning. You know, I'm, go I'm, I'm going in the direction, you know, the, as the sun is rising. So it's in my face. So I'm not going to do that because it's it's annoying. I, it annoys me. So I imagine that you're annoyed by sun and shadows and shit. Like, you know what I mean? So, yeah. So what was I watching today? Just a lot of um, different videos and people's perspective on, you know, on Donald Glover's uh, video. Uh, their opinions. more than moi um but um i was watching joe button's podcast the video of his podcast and um how they were talking about like who is the the like the greatest artist a lot of people were saying different things about like saying that kanye wishes he was putting out content like this right now but Con but kanye's not a i don't know him and Donald Glover are different, but they are the same, but they're different. Donald Glover seems to be more in touch. People are saying Donald Glover is using black folks. I don't understand what y'all be talking about when y'all say that black people are using the current state of black consciousness to capitalize off of it. Um, because otherwise they wouldn't fuck with black people. Uh, is that true? I mean, who can do that? Y'all doing the most out here. Um, is that true? Can is Donald Glover using black people and the current level of black co collective black consciousness to further himself? Because people are saying the same thing about Kanye. Like he's only you know coming out because he is he wants to sell an album but y'all forget Kanye been selling shoes and selling out shoes and you know making money from shoes he does I don't think he has to say anything provocative in order to get some attention because he consistently gets attention I don't think he has to do anything outside of the normal to pander um I don't know to you know to to be shocking I'm not I'm not quite sure I don't think Donald Glover I don't know and it's and it's funny because when black folks who don't particularly run in large um, they have a large group of black friends you don't know what his friends look like you don't know what his circle looks like you're only talk, making these statements because of what he 
what he used to represent this artsy kid you know from the community and he um you know is married to a white woman he's alternative he didn't really fuck with black people or i mean we could say if we really want to be honest maybe people didn't really fuck with him because he was that artsy dude like i was telling somebody today in the comments on another video the kids like little uzi vert little yachty uh drum big baby drum he's my oh he's one of my favorites because he's always smiling and just full of like positive vibrations i really love that dude but those are the type of kids tupac who would get made fun of by the other black kids for being alternative or having interest in alternative things and when i say alternative i mean not hip-hop so i don't know maybe donald glover has evolved into this person where he wants to feel like hey jordan peele too i'm married to a white woman but I still am affected by things that affect black Americans and black American men. And I don't, can you say that he is pandering? I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't, I don't, I, I don't know. I don't think he is. I think as you grow and you see like, okay, you know, I have a responsibility. I have this access and I have a responsibility to my people. Yes, I am married to a non-black person, but that doesn't mean that you release responsibility to creating content that reflects the times and that is socially responsible and provocative and makes people think, oh, girl, get your mouth together. Makes people think about the current state of America. I think that people who say that they don't like the video all because it's so violent this is the point you don't have to see violence right or violence against black folks but the fact is the images that are represented or displayed in this video are they not true representations? Was it just too real, you know, when keeping it real goes wrong? Was it too real? I don't know. I don't think it was. I enjoyed the video and I've, been, and I've watched it. It has 50 million views. I've watched it over and over again because I'm really trying to see everything in the background. And I really think it was a what it was needed. I think this video was needed. And, you know, like yesterday I talked about how people were saying they didn't want to see a black man with a gun killing other black people and how white people would take the video like you know they're not going to interpret this as he's representing america they're going to see his black skin and be like see black on black crime but here's my thing about that once we stop being worried about what white people are on the side saying about us from a distance we'll be better off once we stop performing or not performing or whispering in their presence we'll be better off once we start saying what the fuck we want to say despite whether they're looking or not and who gives a fuck if they like it or not we'll be better off I'm tired of the constant comparisons to what's happening in the white um i don't even want to call them a community because they be down for themselves they will throw each other under the bus when it's when they're amongst each other when it when it's time to rally against a group of people they you, they tend to come together but in their own group their own social group white folks they don't have each other's back those types of comparisons where we're like well white people do this so that means that we should manage our behavior according to what that is. And that's leading into saying that they're the standard. The behavior is the standard. You know, I, I don't, I think that's, I don't, th I think we need to get away from stuff like that. I'm tired of hearing stuff like that, to be honest. I don't want to hear anything about what Harvey Weinstein did in comparison to what Bill Cosby did. Because both of those motherfuckers are wrong. And both of them need to go to wherever they need to go in order to atone for whatever they did. You understand? 
and that needs to happen for both of them but at the same time you're not gonna say well why is Harvey Weinstein not in jail we need to be worried about Bill Cosby R. Kelly these black men who are abusing women and R. Kelly specifically abusing black women and women and children you know that's what we need to be focused on I think when we start you know relying on or like I said performing for or acting a certain way or changing or altering our behavior because this is what white people you know they don't act like that you know what I mean who gives a fuck how they act it doesn't matter what they you know, it shouldn't matter to us as a community is all I'm saying so I don't care if a white person is like oh well see it's black on black crime well okay you ain't really worried about it that's why I tell every white person who comes to me with that black on black crime shit why do you give a fuck it's black on black you white why the fuck do you care about what black and black people are doing what black people are doing to each other you really don't give a fuck so don't 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 even inject that into any argument or debate because you don't care. Well, what about black on black crime? What about it? Let us handle it. You worry about your inherently violent group of people and lazy ass ancestors. Worry about that. Shit. Uh, I mean, I, I don't know. That's just how I feel about it. In terms of talent. Um, I saw a lot of comparisons with Donald Glover and Kanye West and um, oh and Jamie Foxx who's like the who is like really talented all around talented artists or creative out here putting out content and they're like Donald Glover you read Donald Glover is a DJ actor writer producer um, singer rapper did I say actor everything creatively that you're able to do he does it television film music writing i think he's very talented and I, the other, last night i was thinking and i wanted to know you know people are saying that we use the word genius too loosely an icon and legend too loosely um being more concerned with the term genius when you define genius i mean this is what we have to learn how to do and it's like until we start arguing about definitions we need to define what things are and then base your you know the structure of your argument or your debate around that like first let's define it you know what I mean and then let's talk about it so genius defined is like an innate ability and an exceptional ability in a particular area not specific to anything so whatever area it is you're you just have an innate ability a natural ability and you excel at that ability in that area whether it's music, writing, I don't have to go through, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. So for, so you know, I was listening to Joe Button's podcast and he's like, Donald Glover is a genius. Now, there's some people who do not like Donald Glover. Those would be the people who would say, we're using the word genius too loosely. I feel like people who say that have a bias against the person that was referred to as a genius. You know what I mean? They don't like the person that was referred to as a genius. So right now, everybody don't like Kanye West, right? So him being referred to as a genius, all of a sudden the term is being loosely used. It's being used, It's we just use it too loosely, okay? Um, I Do we think that, okay, so, so the, defi the definition of genius is, what I just said it was. I'm not about to repeat myself. I find myself repeating myself a lot and I got to edit the shit out because I, I double say things. I don't know why I do that. Does anybody know what, what that is about? Why I double? Maybe I feel like, I don't know what it is. I'm going to look it up. But it, So, 
the innate ability and to ex to excel in whatever field you are have that ability in. Okay. So now, do we think because those gifts that people have innate that comes from something unexplained, right? A kid playing basketball. He's a genius. He's you know. Albert Einstein, a genius, right? Jean-Michel Basquiat, a genius, right? Now, when Kanye West, who we refer to as a genius, I believe that he is a genius. Um, he musically, he that he has a natural ability, and he excelled. In addition to having, he's very tenacious, and you can't tell him no. So he's he's that adds to you know that um because he says something that doesn't vibe with your belief system or morals or whatever doesn't vibe with whatever truths you've aligned with now all of a sudden he's not a genius is that fair is it fair to take away that person's late the label the definition of what they're exhibiting do we take that away because we don't agree with their politics? The truth of the matter is creatives are usually, or geniuses can be very problematic because they don't usually go along with what everybody else is doing. So what is it? Why do we do that? Why do we say that a person who has exhibited the exact definition of the word when we don't like their politics or don't like something that they've done, now all of a sudden we're using the term too loosely. Like, why do we do that? Do you think that's fair to do that? You know, I don't. I may not, let me tell y'all know I fuck with Kanye West. Everybody knows that. People who know me know I do. But this last episode, I can't get on board with it at all. But guess what? He's still a genius. Because I don't like what he said. And there's some people that just don't like Kanye. Period. It doesn't matter. Kanye could save the world. They would not like him. For whatever reason. Those are the people. I find, I really do. I believe that the people who say that the term genius is, is used too loosely. Do not like the person that the word is being used for. No matter if they are the clear cut definition of what a genius is. Like I said, we so biased and, and we're just so like clear cut. But we're really not clear cut. Because we falter and we go back and forth depending on if we like the person or not. And... And we could be truthful about, ooh, we could be truthful about things and say, yeah, we do not like what the fuck Kanye said. We do not support people who support people that oppress an entire group of people for whatever reason. We don't, we don't like that. So he's no longer a genius because we have evidence to prove that, right? We have evidence to show that he embodies the definition of what a genius is. It's not fair. Y'all don't like Donald Glover because what? He didn't start out fucking with black people. So he, if you look at the things that he's had his hand in creatively, that nigga is a genius. He's exceptional with a natural, at a natural, it's just a natural ability and he's exceptional at it. Whether he gets awarded or rewarded or acknowledged doesn't mean that the evidence doesn't show that this man is exceptional at what he does. And nobody has to like anybody. Let's just be clear. You don't have to like anybody for whatever reason. It could be the stupidest thing. I could think it's the stupidest reason for, you know, but you don't have to like anybody. But don't be, don't sit in bias you know what I mean try to be objective try to be unbiased when it comes to because it just makes you to me I just I, it's hard for me I don't want to enter into a conversation with somebody who is just like I don't like Kanye and that's it or I don't like Donald Glover and that's it and then the reason you don't like them is something that I don't agree with so I'm looking at you like okay whatever so let's listen to the reason why you don't like Donald Glover because he's anti-black woman, okay? 
that was how many years ago that some people say he hasn't apologized for that should you apologize for how you felt in that moment if you have a legitimate reason for feeling that way yes it hurt some people but that's where i was in my life and that's how i felt why should i apologize for something i said three or four years ago and that that i believed now whether or not i believe it today doesn't make i should apologize just like the boy that got canned from the grapevine they pulling old tweets they asked him to apologize he said fuck no i'm not apologizing i may not think about i may not think that now but i'm not apologizing for how i felt four years ago and you're not gonna make me apologize that shit is crazy it's like again we are becoming so aware so so much aware of things that we're coming becoming sensitive but then also i don't know it's just i believe that right now we're just in a a state of development and I think we're just all learning and everybody doesn't learn at the same pace and I think we have these expectations that everybody should be aware at the same level at the same time about the same things right you don't have to like this is America you don't have to like it but you can say you know what I don't like the images but what he was showing these are real things that are happening in this country that have been happening and will probably continue to happen because we don't see anything being changed you know in order to make things better because if things were better then it wouldn't work it's not it's 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 it, it's not in the best interest of the one percent for the shit to work you know what i mean it's not in the best interest of this country to make marijuana legal because it doesn't fall in line with the pharmacy pharmaceutical in industry and the pharmaceutical industry is a lot of money you know what i mean we, the things things where we would all work together but there has to be a balance and there's just so many factors that come along with that it, it would be impossible for us for everybody to agree on everything at the same time at the same level it, it, it doesn't work like that there has to be a balance there has to be somebody to disagree with you how do you grow? There has to be somebody that doesn't like what you did. There will be people who like what you did. You know, and that's the reason why you don't take compliments and, and internalize them or critiques and internalize them, especially if they're destructive, you know? You know, people get in the comments and say things, um, things like, you think you're this and you think you're that. We just don't agree. We just don't agree because of where we are in our journey. Doesn't mean I'm going to say that, I don't know. It's just, it's a constant state of learning, which I believe is important for all of us. And that's the reason why we should talk about the things that we don't like. And that's the reason why we should talk about the things that we do like. And that's the reason why we shouldn't cancel people. And that's the reason why we should be open and listen and, and, and come to conversations with a sense of, I want to learn and better understand. Although I don't like it, I, I like to understand where somebody is coming from. Because they have a different journey. And you can learn so much, you know what I mean? And it's so important, it's just so important. So you don't have to like, this is America. You don't have to like Kanye. But don't say because of the things that they do outside of what makes them a genius but still has something to do with them you know it's still them don't say oh you're just using the term too loosely no just say I don't like the fuck motherfucker he's he has a great talent I just don't like him like um Candy Burris now y'all know I don't fuck with that girl because her personality our personal I could her personality to be frankly, to be frank, reminds me of a girl that I was very close to, and it's just the the it's just 
she embodies that so when i see it it reminds me of that and i could and i could almost to the letter can tell you what type of person candy is because to the she's this person that i know to the letter um minus the ambition i'll say that because candy burris i do not like her but i can tell you that bitch is a good businesswoman. i could tell you that girl knows where to go and to get the money i'm not gonna take that from her but at the same time i could say i don't fuck with her i don't like her person i don't like women like that that have the personality personality that she exudes or embodies or whatever the fuck you want to say I, I just you know i don't i don't fuck with women like that so you know that's my i don't know you gotta be able i just said to be a little bit more objective funky doniva did a video um two videos or several videos today but two of the videos that i watched um were one talking about this collective um state of black women and competing in the oppression olympics and deducing everything to well just say you don't like black women and why it is not always that right and then he made another video that was talking about black women who essentially have gay friends or gay male friends but when the relationship dissolves or is rocky they resort to anti-gay you know slurs and saying that you're jealous because you want to be a woman both of those things in the way that he approached him is very objective but very real some people don't want to hear it but it's good that somebody is able that he feels comfortable enough to say these things now where i went where i may or may not agree with some of the points that he made i can appreciate his objectivity and people have to understand that what he's saying about us saying that you know everybody hates black women well we know we're the lowest the lowest of the totem pole and we know that a lot of people don't take us into account for different things that we do and how we contribute and most of the time you should listen to a black woman because we just have that in us and end up knowing like we told y'all you know like you know i'll just use like coretta scott keen and jeff session she's tried to tell you y'all she tried to tell y'all about this man right you didn't listen to her you dismissed her because she's a black woman there are a lot of people who don't like black women for whatever reason whether it come from conditioning whether it come from experience but his points that he made i was a i wasn't mad but i you know i might be like i don't you know i don't necessarily agree with that but i can see where he can get that idea I'm not I don't want to dismiss him because I don't agree with him I'm gonna to listen to him so I can get his perspective because his perspective is based on his experience and observation right and life and every nobody has that the same exact life while while our lives parallel a lot and we are attracted to people when we start talking to them you see that a lot of your a lot of the things that happen in your life parallel um, but your journey is still different yeah that black women and gay men you know that it's true but i've seen it i've seen it i i watch i've seen black women tell gay men you wish you was a woman no they don't they don't they gay they like dick they like men they're sexually attracted to men why if i'm a man sexually attracted to a man why the fuck would i want to be a woman i'm a man <laughs> you know what i'm saying and i've seen it i've seen it i've seen it i've seen it Go, log on to facebook log on to facebook you'll see it that anti-gay shit y'all know i don't fuck with that shit at all but when it's time to get your face bitch beat bit beat bitch who are you calling when it's time to get your face beat who are you calling when it's time for some fashion advice? Who are you calling when it's time to interior decorate? Who are you calling when it's time for advice on what niggas do? <laughs> okay? Because they're still men. They're men. Hello. That's the problem. And like he was saying, sorry, I had to 
to raise my voice is something I'm very passionate about because I did agree with a lot of things. The first minute and a half he came on and said, we got to stop. Black women have to, have to stop using, you know, you want to be a woman as an, a way to insult a gay man because it's just not true. You know what I mean? It's just not true. And it's just not true. And who better to get the information from about a gay man than from a gay man? I'm not listening to a straight woman talk about what gay men want or what gay men like or how gay men navigate. You don't know, bitch. You're not a man. You're not gay. So you can't tell me nothing about it. Especially when you're insults are rooted in I don't want to say homophobic because everybody says I'm not scared of gay people okay I'm going to use the term anti-gay okay when you use things that can be construed as anti-gay and using being gay as an insult that shit is dumb and we got to get out of that but that is rooted in internalized misogyny that is rooted in conditioning of religion and telling you that being gay is a sin and uh, the, the, you know the bitches who love the sinner but don't love the sin type bullshit you know that type of shit so you when you are listening to somebody give their opinion or give their experience stop canceling them because you can learn something just because you don't like what they're saying you know what i'm saying no i'm just rambling but i guess this is long enough i'm still in traffic i hope hopefully y'all can see me because i've been um i'm sweating you know you have your glasses on i got the air on let me see but yeah that's all i wanted to say it was just on my mind i really haven't really I honestly haven't been really wanting to talk. It took me forever to upload that video last night um, about, uh, you know, the video. Go watch it, the other video I just posted. Okay, what the fuck is going on? Always, I'm always nervous when I see a bunch of people slowing down in their car, pressing on their brakes. Anyways, you guys have a wonderful day. I hope you had a wonderful day. And um, leave in the comments, let me know what you think. Maybe we can expand and have a discussion. Um, my last video, um, was, I was going back and forth with several of y'all because I do want to have, let's, like, I, I don't, that, let me get my shit together. I don't want to have conversations with myself. I don't want to be in an echo chamber. I don't want everybody to agree with me. You know what I mean? I don't, you know, somebody went in, in the comments was like, you ain't, you, you know, I really don't like to give shout outs to people who leave negative shit in the comments. But somebody said, you know, you think you woke, but you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Okay. You can have that. You can you can say that. You can say that about me, although I've never, ever pro proclaimed to be woke or anything. You can say that. But tell me why. Don't just say you don't know what you're talking about what what is it because i talk about a lot of shit so tell me what i don't know what i'm talking about and maybe we can have a conversation about it i want to have conversations i don't want to just be told I, d I don't agree or you don't agree let's talk you know what i'm saying so also you can talk to me you can um, send me an email at polite as fckpod at gmail.com I really appreciate it. I really appreciate you guys leaving the comments. I really appreciate the um, share, you know, y'all sharing the videos and and I hope it does ignite conversation because that's what I'm here for. You know what I'm saying? I just want to talk. I like, you know, I like to run my mouth. So that's about it. And if you want to argue with me in the comments, y'all better have your facts together, some supporting documentation. You know, some supporting resources or links or something. Because I'm going to ask you where you got the information from. I do want to share with y'all um, a video that I watched on Amazon Prime. I think it was called Reasons to Believe. But it's about um, religion and why people hold on to religion the way that they hold on to. Uh, I do believe black Americans, uh, a lot of... The, the re reason why the majority it, 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 the thing is stuff is not going to change until we abandon what binds us and you know the word religion means to bind you know what I mean and what binds us is these 
ideas that are attached to something that oppressed us. But at the same time, it's hard to um, step away from things that you've been conditioned to believe. Stay in your lane. I don't understand why people don't stay in their lane. I'm staying in my lane. I, you know, I'm staying in my lane. Literally staying in my lane. Stay, Y'all need to stay in y'all lanes. <laughs> Anyways, you guys have a wonderful night. Um, and I'll see you next time. Take care of each other.